in case you guys forgot already, because I almost forgot. The one that has black on it is the older one. Not the older one, but the newcomer, I should say. Um, I think. Yeah. The one that has black ears is my newest one that just arrived uh, about half an hour ago. She got a bath. That's why she is, I say half an hour ago. And um, the one back there is a girl as well. So the black-eared girl and this one's a girl. This one's a boy. Okay? Um, so I'm just going to let them explore. These two have already explored, obviously, because they were here yesterday. And um, this one is just new. So she probably doesn't know where anything is or where the people were hiding. She's probably feeling a little alone. Um, oh, she's probably hungry. Um, here, here, baby. Here. It's okay, it's okay. This is what you're looking for. Probably. Yeah. So the baby was hungry. Um, very hungry. Um, the treats are a little big for them, actually. Oh, that's so cute. Yes, clean yourself. Yes. How adorable. My little boy there is cleaning himself. It's very cute. Um, I think it's cute. I think anytime they stand on the hind legs like a kangaroo and clean, it's very cute. That's why I like hamsters. Um... Alright, so on to the stuff I bought. And I like them. They're not very skittish. Usually anybody else would be like running, like bolting. But um, these guys don't. The, the older ones seem to bolt. They've learned to be afraid of humans. Uh, the younger ones, I guess, just haven't even met many humans. They don't know what to be afraid of. Probably never been dropped or anything. I don't know. Um, so I went a little overboard today. Um, I'm going to probably mention this quite a bit. Whoa. Um, that was my male mounting the female. And then the female mounted the other female, which is pretty funny. Um, okay. Um, that's okay. It's expected. And they're all the same size, so there's no chance of injuries. Um, okay, so back to where I was going to say. Um, yesterday night, I'm going to keep mentioning this, but, uh, I'm not going to put too many videos up because I actually took quite a few videos, but I didn't upload all of them. I deleted some of them because they were really depressing. I didn't even want to rewatch it the second time. I usually rewatch my videos before I upload, um, but in this case, I really didn't want to. Okay, I'm just going to remove a couple pieces of bedding from this thing, just so they don't have to chew it. It really clings to bedding. Sorry, guys. Anyway, I'll, I'll find some better place to hang it or something. Um, everybody likes to test out that thing and chew it. That's okay. I think Mocha left her saliva or something on it because they seem really attracted to biting it. Oh, this guy hasn't figured. Oh, I haven't showed her how to get upstairs. Um. Oh no. Good lord, I'm confused. Oh. Um. Is this my new arrival? Oh, I. <laughs> well, anyway, I will show the. New <laughs> I'm getting confused. Already. Yes, that's the new arrival. I was looking at the black ears. The black face is the one that's new. Um, I will put her upstairs so she knows where the hay is. Uh, but for now, it's okay. Um, so anyway, I'm going to probably be mentioning a lot that why I'm doing some of the things I'm doing. Uh, I originally brought two friends home from Mocha so that I could have a herd of three. A threesome. Um, oh, that's cute, Piggy Train. Um, but, um, last night Mocha, uh, fell off my shoulder. Uh, I generally like to, uh, let Mocha hang off the top of my shoulder. She likes to dangle her feet and her, her, her hind legs and her paws. Uh, just on my shoulder, over my shoulders. Uh, I had my chin basically on her back. Um, you know, kind of like, you know, when you're holding a telephone by your ear uh, with your shoulder. Um, to prevent her from falling in the moment that I just went to turn off the water. I was washing my hand. I had brushed off the poop here with my bare hands. And so Mocha was being pestered by these two smaller ones because they wanted to nurse. So they were trying Mocha underneath her to see if she had you know, milk to give, and she was getting a little annoyed, so she kind of nipped them in the face. Not hard, she just nipped them. And, but the baby didn't understand, because they wanted to nurse. They had just been nursing hours ago before they met Mocha. So, uh, Mocha was getting a little annoyed, so what I did was I took Mocha, I took Mocha, and, um, I had her with me, I was cuddling her, and so then I decided to just deal with the poop pile that was on the ramp there, not to set a bad example for the babies. So I wiped all the poop off and I went to wash my hand, and when I went to turn off the water, um, she just, 
uh, she, I, I guess uh, my, my neck moved a little bit or my chin did. Uh, she squirmed and I tried to compensate by squishing her just a little bit harder, uh, just to prevent her from falling. Cause I was worried I was going to, she was going to fall. Uh, and, uh, she just slipped. She squirmed. She didn't jump, but she squirmed and she just slipped off my shoulder and it didn't help that I trimmed her nails the day before and I filed them t so that they were rounded tipped. So she really had no grip. Uh, cause her nails are pretty sharp. I don't know how she gets such sharp nails, but she does. She's like a cat. Um, so anyway, I, um, I just, you know, that was it. I picked her up, uh, she was fine. Uh, but then, uh, two and a half hours later, she, uh, died from her injury. Um, she was oozing some sort of reddish liquid. Uh, it wasn't exactly blood, but it wasn't exactly not either. I'm guessing it was blood mixed with a fluid of some sort. Um, but it was kind of watery. Uh, but, uh, she died, I think, of internal bleeding. Um, and she had a shattered front tooth. Left, I think it was the left side. The right side was loose. And the back, the lower teeth were fine. But she wasn't going to be eating anytime soon. I went out to get her some formula. Uh, I came back. I was going to make it, but I wasn't sure if she would even eat it because, you know, how would she do it? Uh, they were out of syringes at the store. So I was going to give her a baby bottle, but I didn't think she could nibble it. So I wasn't even sure how I was going to be able to feed her. But um, there's a lot of dominant thingy going here, but that's okay. Um, so anyway, uh, there wasn't anything I could do uh, short of never carrying a guinea pig like that. With a, I generally have one hand about a centimeter or two below her because she actually will walk up uh, away from your hand if you put your hand there unless you're putting it right on her bum but um, I just put it there in case she slips down but you know usually because my other hand is also free I can grab her if she climbs over my shoulder but uh, last day I had both hands occupied because they were wet I knew she was about to fall I, I could have caught her but um, my instinct because my hands were wet I didn't want to grab her so I, w I wanted to quickly turn off the water and go dry it before I got her. And it was um, just when I turned around to go and dry my hands, she just slipped off my shoulder. That was it. I heard this little, you know, that was it. She was landed on her back. Uh, she looked like she was dazed. I thought she died. And then she was just dazed. And a couple seconds later, she rolled over on her side. And then she got up on her feet. And she was fine. I don't know what happened after that, though. But uh, things just got really bad and downhill. Um... So anyway, uh, because of that, I felt really guilty. Um, but that's, let me go back a bit first. Um, so um, I wanted a herd, so that's why I went out today to get one more. Originally, I was going to get the one that was part of this original litter, um, but um, that one turned out to be a boy. I went and got a double checked on the sexes uh, by another pet store who uh, the owner of that pet store knows how to sex guinea pigs because they've raised guinea pigs from birth so they know all about the guinea pigs and she uh, made the penis pop out and I was like are you sure it's really a boy she's like well I'll take a look for yourself there's a penis I'm like oh shucks so I swapped it out and that's why I have this one now the one that's over there that just took off she's in the corner uh, so on top of that, I wanted to buy them some stuff. So yesterday, I bought a jumbo size water bottle. I'll upload those videos later. They may not be all in sequence just because I want to get off certain videos before they take up the whole phone, the memory. But um, I bought a water bottle. Um, the original one was twelve forty nine, I believe. The large one, uh, 16 ounces. This one is 12 ounces. I needed a 12 ounce one because... Um, the other one was too long. Um, sorry. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Um, because originally I wanted it something like this. But, um, as you can see, if I have it upright, um, it doesn't have any nozzle space. So, it would have to be on this side. And as you can see, if I, if I assume that the bottle is here, um, the nozzle will end right here which is perfect. So it gives me about uh, one and a half grids, uh, holes to work with, uh, which will accommodate the, hold on, sorry guys, this is an iPhone 4. We'll accommodate the blue tray, okay? Um, the other one uh, was only half a centimeter away from the ground, so it would not accommodate any kind of tray. And I wasn't willing to drill holes and all that stuff. Um, and also because it's really heavy, I was worried this panel wouldn't support it. Whereas this way, I can have one here and one downstairs. Uh, and then uh, when these guys separate, I'll probably um, 
I'll probably put one of these bottles upstairs, or maybe I'll just get another one. These were only nine, I think nine dollars each, so it wasn't too expensive considering they're glass, so I can actually boil and sterilize them. Um, I did buy a couple more things. I'm sorry, I admit I was really weak today because I was kind of depressed. Uh, aside from the fact that the mocha, I was just you know feeling really guilty because I could have stopped it. I actually had a vision just before I uh, went to wash my hand, uh, a flash, I guess, uh, a, a what if. And uh, it basically is like I'm almost like a premonition. Uh, I just I just knew for a second I'm like you know she could fall off, but you know I ignored them. I always ignore these little flashes that I get, and then moments later it happens. So I should have just heeded that you know notion that she could slip off my shoulder, but you know she's been on my shoulder many many times. But this is the first time where my hands have been occupied. You know I've been washing my hands. Um, Usually my hands are nearby, so I'm ready to grab her at any time, should she leap off even. <coughs> so, <coughs> sorry guys, I think I'm getting sick too. So to make up for it, I bought this. Um, actually, I bought this because I just really wanted to give them something else to chew. Because um, there is three of them and there's only one chew toy. I think they don't like to chew the wooden blocks because it's not very satisfying on their teeth. They like to sink their teeth in, kind of like sinking it into soft stuff like cheese. Um, so I thought giving them something a little bit better. That's probably why they like to chew your coropus is because it's soft. When you cut into it, there's a really satisfying feeling when you even use a box cutter and cut it. I think they like that satisfying feeling. Of course, I can't give them chloroplasts and I'll continue to look for something that's similar. But I don't think we can short of giving them plastic. But I bought them this. This thing was three sixty two, I believe, something like that. And I bought this from Pets uh, PJs. Uh, I bought this when I first got my first set of guinea pigs, uh, which I later returned, but I kept. They really like this. My hamsters really like it. It's just vitamin C. It's papaya. Uh, originally, I was thinking I I forgot where I got this from. I was thinking I got this in the states, but I actually got it from PJs. But it was really expensive. It was like five ninety nine. So I spent about ten dollars at PJs. The bottles were about uh, seventeen dollars in total. Uh, but I got two bottles, right? So, th and that's including the refund, mind you guys. Um, but it's still I spent a good thirty dollars there. But I'm working an extra day next week. That's why. Um, and I bought this at Tysol. I went to the pet food place because uh, I wanted to buy this at, pet, at PJs, but they're five ninety nine at PJs, and they're only three ninety nine. I know for a fact that it's only three ninety nine at Tysol, so I went to Tysol. Uh, I figured this is the only good guinea pig treat for baby guinea pigs because uh, it's healthy. Um, there's no real additives in it. And then I got this for my hamster because um, I like to have one on standby. Uh, in case they have my inventory, and they don't now, they're out of stock now until they get more in. I bought the last bag, um, and it's only on, it's on sale for five fifty nine. It's regular six ninety nine, and I can never have too many hamster bags um, on standby because I have ten hamsters. So you know, um, this one was not necessary to buy, but I should buy it just in case because I'm saving a buck fifty, uh, and I definitely go through it at least once a month, one bag a month. So I go through about $7 of hamster food. So it comes up to less than a dollar a hamster. And I usually have some left over. Because um, they started eating pellets, right? They eat pellets too. So really I spent about $35, $40. So about one shift. Exactly one shift. Uh, as for the guinea pig, I'm taking that money out of my um, tax return. The money that I put back. I put back all 500 <laughs> I, I took 40 out to pay for that guinea pig. Um, the, uh, the, the third guinea pig, the second one, uh, I'm paying that out of my, uh, my tax, uh, tax relief check that I get th four times a year. Uh, I'm, the, other, the remainder of that tax refund uh, check will also be going towards um, my, my year-end payment. Uh, so basically everything's spent. But uh, I'm really happy and... I don't feel as bad now because I have this distraction, but I still really miss mocha. Um, but there is nothing I can do about that. And the more I dwell on it, you know, this, just the more sadder and depressed and headaches that I get. I get headaches when I'm stressed, when I can't let go of certain things I'm thinking about, like mocha and what I could have done differently. And I get to the point where I get headaches and they don't go away. And then the headaches cause more headaches because now I'm really stressed that I can't relax. So it's a very vicious cycle, and then I end up having to take something to help me 
calm down. It, it, basically, it's a, it's a, it's some sort of pain medication for your headaches. 